I have news. I'm listening. After sifting through people who are dead or MIA, Palavin Command tells me the new Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. He's currently on this moon, on the front lines. We're attempting to contact him. However, you may not be happy. He has a reputation for being a maverick, for playing loose with accepted strategy. I need Turian support to have any hope of taking back Earth. Is this guy gonna mess things up for me? If you're asking for my professional opinion, I'd say I don't know. But I'm wary. Can I ask for someone else? Of course not. I'll make it work. General, sir, I still can't raise him. Let me have a look. Yes, sir. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. Hang tight, Joker. I'll be back as soon as I can. Incoming Harvester! <laughs> General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. Come on, let's go hit this bad boy. I'll radio you as soon as I've contacted our new Primarch. Right, let's go. Hey, is that you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Shepard, those Reapers look like Turians. You're right. They do. How are the Reapers doing? I think we're done here. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Let's go! 
What's the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Head toward the planet. Got it. Shepard out. Let's go find our Primarch. How far, Shepard? He said to head for the planet. Looks like it should be quick unless we find trouble. Just look at Palavan. The Turians may not make it. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day, five the second. I hope we're doing better back on Earth. Where would Garrus have been in all this? Pissed. Right in the thick of it. If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reaper's Shepherd, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. homeworld and come with us. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Commander, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarian homeworld was decimated when the Reapers arrived. And the Krogan have never forgiven the Turians for the Genophage. Genophage, right. Turians sterilized them. With a Salarian invention. And the Krogan hate them both for it. Don't expect them to be invited to the summit. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches.
Okay, double time. No Reapers taking this Primarch from me. Right behind you. General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Uh, Commander, I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Primarch Fedorian is dead. You are the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan, negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. This is crucial. I need you on top of your game. Are you in or out? Watch your tone, Commander. Look, you've met the Reapers head on. You're overqualified. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Seeing Palavin like this, up close, I'm afraid for my people, our home, for Thessia. Imagine if they'd listened, Shepard. If we'd been ready. Yeah, I know. But we're gonna give this everything we've got. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavin... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like this summit just got a lot more interesting.
apologize for being so frank, Commander, but your plan feels doomed to failure. We know. We've been there before. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I'm not the only one that feels this way. The Salarian Dalatras is livid. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Perhaps. Still, we can't help but feel that this summit is a waste of your time, and we can't afford to have it waste ours. We must focus our attention on the arrival of the Reapers. So no, the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. Good luck, Commander. And goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Arcturus Station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire Second Fleet to provide cover for the Third and the Fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Commander? EG just went offline. What do you mean, offline? I don't know, she's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire, or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Well, if it means having full access to the Prothean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. 
This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. I'll tell you when I need it. Excellent. I will run tests to ensure that it matches or exceeds the capabilities of organic squad mates. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I did not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Put it on the map. Adding it now, Commander. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! She plugged herself into Cerberus Tech without authorization. Well, technically, she is Cerberus Tech, so... Not helping, Joker. I've run the checks, Commander. She's still based in the Normandy. Running this body just gives her a little more flexibility. Sweet, sweet flexibility. I am right here, Chap. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. You have a message from Lieutenant Commander Williams. She must be feeling better. The Salarian Dalatras and Krogan Clan Chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. 
So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Whether you like it or not, we need Krogan help to win this war. And what happens when the war is over? We'll find a new way to keep the peace. And they'll break it. Enough! This is all theoretical. It would take years to formulate a cure. There's no time. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? What does it matter? Palavin is burning right now. Earth is burning right now. If it takes a cure to cement this alliance, then that's what I'm doing. He's right. The hard truth is we don't have a choice. Give Rex what he wants. Or none of us will survive long enough to know who was right or wrong. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. If they start backtracking, the angry Krogan act couldn't hurt. Who said anything about acting? Just try to keep it verbal. Are you going to lecture me on restraint, Shepard? What are you talking about? I found out you had access to Malin's data, and destroyed it. That's not fair, Rex. Shepard's here for you now. Is he? These females are my people's best and last hope of curing the genophage. Whose side are you on, Shepard? The Krogan weren't ready for a cure. And now that you need us to fight the Reapers, we are? You're using us just like the Solarian, Shepard. Rex! Commander, I have a Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. We'll sort this out later. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatress authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! 
We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? moments ago. This Solarian hospitality always come with sharpshooters? This is an insult to the Alliance. Please understand, no matter what some politician might say, Krogan are still considered a hostile race. I wonder why. However, on behalf of the Solarian Union, I apologize. But we must insist the Krogan remain under guard. <clears throat> and if we insist otherwise? You'll have another war on your hands. Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. <laughs> Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Seems like a good place to hide things you don't want the galaxy to know about. Like female Krogan. I'm aware of how this must look, but it was for their own good. They were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. We brought them here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for your specimen. Cypher analyst over in Intel told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the wall. Another incursion? The the Air defenses down. report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. It's like someone's land. testing our defenses. Appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. Send confirmation to the Dalatras that the exchange is proceeding. Yes, sir. And ask her for more warning the next time the Krogan leader shows up unannounced. Yes, sir. I wasn't serious. Should Maroon you want to chunker with raw meat strapped to your back if you do that? You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What type of work do you do here? Evolutionary intervention. My government calls it uplifting, guiding the development of other species to suit our own purposes. Until recently, I evaluated life forms to determine whether they were suitable for uplift. You don't anymore? My work raised more questions than it answered. Now I'm searching for the underlying principle that directs evolution itself. That sounds vaguely spiritual. Just open-minded. Discovering the process of evolution is a major breakthrough in any species development. Uncovering its purpose would be paradigm shifting. Thanks for your time. Of course. We can proceed into the elevator when you're ready. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. We should get moving, Commander. Hopefully this is nothing. I thought you said the alert was nothing. But it might be something. These are the females. I'm afraid they didn't survive. What? Malin's cure compromised their immune systems. 
If I don't get the cure, I lose all hope of keeping this alliance together. Someone convinced Rex these females were still alive. Yes, it was me. I told Erdnot Rex they were here. You're his inside source? He had the right to know. One female did respond to treatment. She's immune to the genophage, and the only hope the Krogan have left. She refuses to tell us her name. Trust has been an issue. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess, what she's been through. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? You're the key to a truce between the Krogan and Turians. So, I'm useful to you. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimen. Protocol has been overridden. Do it! Commander, I'll need to accompany the bot through the quarantine process. You should meet us at the next checkpoint. It seems clear Cerberus doesn't want the genophage cured. Wix, no scratches. Everything depends on her. Understood. Get back to the elevator, Commander. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Get back! Commander Shepard, are you all right? Is there another way out of here? I can open it from here. Commander, it's Wix. Cerberus forces are tracking our progress. The quarantine checkpoint is under attack. Get there right away. Wix log 162.3. I spent my review. Shepard, we can't afford delay. We should leave this area. Goes the next shadow brokers. Not funny. <clears throat> Commander Shepard, we have Cerberus troops at the checkpoint. Let They're 
targeting the Krugen. I see the checkpoint. They're taking fire. Are you okay? The containment shield is holding. I can attempt repairs if necessary, though that may be small comfort to our patient. Your bargaining ship is still alive. It's likely Cerberus was tipped off. Maybe a mole in STG. Could be indoctrinated. It would derail your alliance with the Turians. That's not gonna happen. Meet us at the next checkpoint! I suspect Cerberus will try to hit us! Well motivated. They're capable of anything. It's just hard to understand. 